Hi everyone, today I will be making bánh giò. It's a Vietnamese rice dumpling wrapped in banana leaves in a pyramid shape. It has pork and woody mushroom fillings and is a common breakfast in northern Vietnam. This is a very good example of how the Vietnamese turn basic and simple ingredients into masterpiece. Let's begin! We're gonna mix the fillings first. For the fillings, we're gonna need a 50 gram of dry woody mushrooms. Soak the mushrooms in hot water for about 15 minutes. After that, you will see them grow bigger and softer. Like this. We're gonna remove the stem if any and then mix them. Woody mushrooms has a very nice crunchy texture. That's why they are used to make the fillings for many Vietnamese dishes even though they don't really have any flavor or taste. There's a lot of woody mushrooms to be used in this recipe and it's gonna take some time if I'm gonna mix by hand like this. So I need to add my food processor to help. So just roughly chop them into pieces and process in the food processor. You don't want to process the mushroom too fine, so just process for about 20 seconds maybe. Stop when the mushroom get into this size. Next, we're gonna dice one small onion. Make incision vertically and then horizontally with the stem attached. After that, just slice it and then it's gonna be diced nicely. Next, we're gonna marinate 500 gram of minced pork with about 1 tablespoon of minced shallot or you can also use minced white bark of spring onion. Also season the minced pork with salt, chicken stock and sugar, about a teaspoon each. And some ground pepper as well. Then mix well and set aside for about 15 minutes. Next, in a wok or a large saucepan on high heat, add in 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. When the oil is hot, add in the diced onion. Saute the onion for about 1 to 2 minutes until translucent. Then add in the minced pork. Stir well and use the spatula to break the pork to avoid any lump. Continue to cook the pork until it is no longer pink. Now have a taste. If it's not salty enough, maybe you want to add a little more fish sauce. Then add in the chopped woody mushrooms. And continue to stir for about 1-2 to two more minutes until they cook. Okay, so done. Take off the heat and sprinkle a lot more ground pepper. Next, we're gonna prepare the banana leaves. You can either use the fresh banana leaves or the frozen one. This is one package of frozen banana leaves that I bought at the Asian store. I prefer using frozen one because it is more convenient and cost effective. Just defrost them at room temperature and tear them into square pieces 
around 20 to 25 cm. After that, uh, soak each piece of banana leaf in boiling water for a few seconds. This is to sterilize them and also makes them become softer and easier to work with. If you use fresh banana leaves, you want to soak it in boiling water a little longer. Next, tear saran wrap into square pieces, the same size as the banana leaves. Dry each piece of banana leaf with kitchen paper and then stack them on each other with the saran wrap in between each layer. The saran wrap will give support to the banana leaves and it will help a lot in wrapping the dumpling later. The next step is to make the dough. You will need rice flour and tapioca starch or corn starch. The ratio between rice flour and tapioca starch can be 2 to 1 or 1 to 2, it depends on your preference. If you are to eat the dumpling right after steaming, then use recipe number 1. If you eat it on the next day, then follow recipe number 2. Because I'm making breakfast for the whole next week, so I'm using recipe number 2. We're gonna mix the flour with the chicken or pork broth. You can use homemade broth or buy the canned chicken broth at the Asian store. The amount of broth to be used should be double the amount of flour. So today I'm using recipe number 2, 1 cup rice flour, 2 cup tapioca starch and 6 cups uh, pork broth. Stir really well until completely dissolved. You can also strain to make sure that there's no lump. Depending on the kind of broth that you use, you might want to add in a little more salt to make it more tasty and also uh, maybe 1 to 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil to make it less sticky. It's better to use a non-stick pot and wooden spoon to do this job, then it's gonna be easier to wash up later. When the flour is completely dissolved, bring it to the stove and constantly stirring while heating on medium-high heat. Be patient and keep stirring until you feel quite heavy at the bottom of the pot. The dough starts being cooked and it's gonna stick to the wooden spoon or the chopsticks in my case. Then lower the heat and stir faster and more vigorously. It's a good exercise for your arms here. <laughs> Remember to lower the heat and continue stirring until the dough thickens like this. It could be lumpy but that's okay. You can also use a wick to whisk vigorously and make the dough become more smooth. The consistency of the dough should be something like this or a little thicker maybe. The dough should still be opaque because it's not cooked yet. Now come the more exciting part, the wrapping. For the wrapper, we need one layer of banana leaf and one layer of the plastic wrap. Fold over to let the opposite corners mix each other to form a triangle like this. Then open it to form a pocket. Hold it in one hand and let the open part next to your thumb. Scoop in one tablespoonful of the dough. Spread it around and make a little hole in the middle. Then add in the fillings. About two and a half to three tablespoons should be good. Then add in two more tablespoons of the dough on top. Spread it evenly to cover the fillings. Now folding the side near to your thumb first and then the both side inward. Then folding the rest and stuck it in. There you have it, your beautiful little pyramid. So cute! 
The saran wrap really helps a lot in supporting the banana leaves. Even when the banana leaf breaks, the dough will not be spilling out. Finally, we are gonna steam the dumplings. I'm using my same old tricks to set up the steamer here. Arrange the dumplings neatly into the steamer. You can steam in two batches, but I have a big pot here so I'm gonna stack them all in and steam at one go. Bring water in the steamer to a boil and cover the lid. Steam for about 20 to 25 minutes. Ta-da! <laughs> if you open and eat it now, the dumplings will collapse and you won't see it in the pyramid shape anymore. So let it cool completely. Wait for the dough to firm up and stay in that pyramid shape. Before serving, microwave the dumplings for one to one and a half minutes. Now I'm gonna open the dumpling to see the miracle happen. <laughs> Seriously, this dumpling costs less than 50 cents in Vietnam, but you know, if you wanna make it overseas, it's really a lot of work. But the good news is, you can keep these dumplings in the fridge for a week and serve it every morning as a breakfast. If you have kids, they gonna love it. Mmm, let me give it a try. Mmm. The outer layer is soft, the inside is meaty and crunchy because of the woody mushrooms. You can smell the banana leaf and see the pale green color it left on the pyramid. Mmm, yummy. I hope you like it and thank you for watching. Bye bye.